welcome back. It's been a while since I posted anything space related on this channel and with a lot of mainstream media outlets and science publications having posted some very interesting planetary updates recently, I thought now is a great time to get back into it. So you got my NASA shirt on and everything. So get comfortable. I'm about as comfortable as I can be sitting here on my floor, but I do have my comfy slippers on. So there you go. Five weird and wonderful planets in our universe. Number one, cotton candy planets. Now earlier this month, there was a lot of talk in the media and on the internet about a newly discovered cotton candy planet, specifically one dubbed WASP-107b. But in actual fact, WASP-107b was discovered years earlier, back in 2017 in fact, and it's 200 light years away from Earth. It was calculated to be roughly the size of Jupiter, but with less than one-tenth of Jupiter's mass. And with an atmosphere that contains helium, water vapour and sulphur dioxide, WASP-107b takes on a distinctly fluffy nature. But WASP-107b is not alone. There are three other cotton candy planets on NASA's radar, so to speak. Kepler-51b, C and D. All three are Jupiter-sized, low-density exoplanets that share a degree of density on par with actual cotton candy. It's believed that the low densities of these cotton candy planets, also known as super puffs... <laughs> super puffs. <laughs> I love it! ...are due to the young age of the systems they're in. And in Kepler's case, a mere 500 million years old compared to 4.6 billion for our sun. It's also believed that over time, these super puffs will shed the bulk of their fluffy atmospheres, rendering them closer in classification to mini Neptunes. Lucky for us though, we're living in an era where we can observe these planets in the prime of their youth, before that iconic fluffiness is gone for good. Number two, WASP-103b, the football planet. Initially discovered in 2014 by the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes, WASP-107b intrigued researchers enough that they employed CHEOPS, a joint mission between Switzerland and the ESA, to learn more. The planet's unusual shape was observed as it moved in front of its star, and the current explanation for this is that there are massive tidal waves occurring there. Because of its great proximity to its star, we had already suspected that very large tides are caused on the planet but we had not yet been able to verify this. Co-author Jan Alibert, professor of astrophysics at the University of Berlin said in a statement. Interestingly though, WASP-103b's shape is only one of the stranger aspects of this planet. Typically planets that orbit so close to their stars the same way that WASP-103b does are drawn in closer and closer and closer over time, eventually being engulfed. But in the case of WASP-103b, current measurements actually show that the planet is drifting away from its star. And like the super puffs, I can't take that seriously, I'm sorry. And like the super puffs mentioned earlier, WASP-103b is actually not the only football shaped planet that we know about. WASP-121b, located 900 light years away from Earth, is another hot Jupiter closely orbiting its star. In the case of WASP-121b, it is orbiting so closely in fact that it's on the cusp of being ripped apart. Gravitational tidal forces between WASP-121b and its star have caused it to take on its distinctive football shape. Number 3. HD 189733b – Planet of Glass Rain Welcome to HD 189733b, a beautiful blue world just 63 light years away from Earth with an average daytime temperature of just 930 degrees Celsius. HD 189733b is another hot Jupiter, this one discovered in 2005 by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and the ESA's XMM Newton. Its dazzling blue colour comes from the reflection of a hazy, blow-torched atmosphere containing high clouds laced with silicate particles which scatter blue light. 
The reason behind this blowtorched atmosphere are severe winds that blow seven times the speed of sound. Now between the winds and the deadly heat, there are also rainstorms that sheet down shards of glass sideways. Dear God, no! And the reason for this is that silicate, when heated up to extreme temperatures, actually turns into glass. Number four, 55 Cancri E. The diamond planet? 55 Cancri E is a carbon-rich super-Earth discovered in 2004. It has an orbital period of just 18 hours, and it is believed to be tidally locked, with the day-side hemisphere reaching temperatures of around 3,500 degrees Celsius and the night side hemisphere reaching temperatures of around 1,380 degrees Celsius. Due to the planet's proximity to its star, its entire surface is covered in an ocean of lava, first observed in 2017 by the Spitzer Space Telescope. And by 2022, large scale volcanism was the main theory behind the planet's variability and its transit depths. As for how 55 Cancri E got its nickname, the Diamond Planet, well, that relates to the estimation that about one third of the planet's mass is carbon. And because of the extreme temperatures and pressures within the interior, it is believed that that carbon is likely to be in diamond form. However, later observations show there was a slight variation in the composition between 55 Cancri E and its star leading people to believe that this might not be accurate in calling 55 Cancri E the diamond planet. Tess also explained that stars and planets' compositions don't actually have to match. So I guess this one is still up for debate. In theory, 55 Cancri E could still have a high carbon to oxygen ratio and be a diamond planet, but the host star does not have such a high ratio. So in terms of the two building blocks of information used for the initial diamond planet proposal, the measurements of the exoplanet and the measurements of the star no longer verify that. Joanna Tesk, University of Arizona astronomy graduate said in a statement. Number five, LHS 3154B. The boulder and the pebble. Now this one is a real doozy because by all estimations, this planet shouldn't exist. LHS 3154b is a giant planet, around 13 times bigger than Earth, and it orbits around an ultra cool M dwarf star, the smallest and coolest star type that we know of, making LHS 3154b the most massive planet orbiting so closely around such a cool and tiny star that we've ever discovered. In our galaxy, M dwarf stars are incredibly common, and typically they have small rocky planets orbiting around them, as opposed to gas giants. The smaller the star, the less material there is to work with, and therefore the smaller the planets are that form around it. Researchers estimate that the amount of material in the disk surrounding LHS 3154b star would need to have been at least 10 times greater than what is usually found in the disks of low mass stars, throwing all the established theories of planet formation on their heads. This discovery really drives home the point of just how little we know about the universe, co-author Subrath Mahadevan and Vern M. Willeman said in a statement. Absolutely, there'll always be more to discover, more to learn, and I for one am absolutely here for it. Did you have a favorite planet on this list? Or maybe you've got one that I'd never heard about? If you have, put it in the comments below because I'd like to read about that. Anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.